Hi friends, uh, today we will discuss about error handling. So, uh, in Informatica, the session errors are classified into fatal or non fatal errors. Uh, so, basically, the fatal errors means uh, the integration service would stop the session uh, service or reading and writing and roll back the data is not committed on the target side. So, that is the uh, this simple understanding of it fatal error. So, so we can uh, take a good example of uh, for uh, the metadata is missing for example the source uh, table definition is uh, uh, the table is missing or target missing in some cases a repository side also missing but uh, since we are going to discuss in iic side repository is completely managed uh, so source or target side is a missing definition so the connection access is completely missed out <clears throat> and the source of target that is the quickest understanding in the first fatal error side so uh, it will completely abort uh, means like completely stop the uh, the session running it okay so that is the uh, about fatal errors so when we deal about non fatal errors uh, uh, it will allow oh, basically it's uh, quite opposite of fatal errors like the error won't stop the session still it will continue but instead it would capture the bad or rejected records uh, uh, for uh, you, you to review and uh, 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 work on it and correct the uh, error record possible okay so the meaning is that it will load only the validate record mm, okay so we can set a session properties in this case like uh, by default uh, the stops uh, session uh, for non fatal errors will be zero but in case if you want to or limit the number of uh, <laughs> errors for example you want to allow uh, number of errors like rejected records like one record or two records or five records uh, subject to the use case the business use case you can allow it uh, so it can be like a read errors or transformation errors or write errors kind of okay so we'll discuss about that and beyond to that point uh, fatal errors like so mm, the stop about and error uh, we can discuss as well uh, with a practical demo so so whatever we discussed about so far with a fatal and non fatal side in the session level the stop is the property we can see it by default zero is it right and similarly about uh, is the other uh, way of error handling so based on the business uh, validation you want to verify a particular record uh, means like not particular record the record process by uh, record by record you want to verify the business rules say as an example salary should be less than 1500 so in that case uh, for that particular instance uh, you can abort the session about the session okay uh, so when we say about the session it will completely roll back whatever uh, it has been read from the source and it will kill the session activity and it will abort it completely that is about abort whereas in the th the third one uh, error side uh, the same like in error uh, uh, sorry abort we can define in the expression transformation and uh, give the uh, validation like a uh, condition it will it will it will throw an exception but uh, it will allow Oh, the rest of the record for an example out of 16 record in the source it has been read but 10 is valid and 6 is gone into error trap so it will uh, process a bad or rejected records and it will complete the session uh, so that is what about uh, stop error uh, about okay let us try to create one quick demo about it um, with a practical uh, mapping creation okay uh, of fatal error non fatal error and followed by stop about error uh, conditions okay so let's do this mapping so i have, I have source table here <coughs> As source table uh, select uh, EMP already I have it okay so this is I'm going to take it um, and uh, the target table I have already created a T underscore EMP
so uh, let's do the field mapping here okay so this is done now save it okay now it has been saved so what i'm going to do in the background so the table is valid uh, till the time of uh, the mapping creation in the target site for example whatever the table i've created i'm going to simply drop it in the back back end okay so this is to check the fatal error okay so i'm dropping the table the table has been dropped successfully now the table definition is completely gone from the target side so now we will go back and try to run the mapping and see the fatal error okay i'm going to run the session and let us try to understand the mapping is failed with the fatal error see it has been failed let us go and check the reason see so basically uh, when we have created the mapping the table was there but uh, for our testing purpose i have dropped the table uh, to validate the fatal error so this is one good example to verify it okay the table has been dropped the table does not exist in the target site that is the clear indication of fatal error now let's move on to the non-fatal error side like uh, we'll consider one non-unique uh, uh, unique constraint issue okay we'll create the same table okay uh, create table t underscore emp select star from src user emp var one is equal to two so the table has been created okay now first time i'm not going to create any unique constraint um okay maybe i can create a unique constraint okay So I've created a unique constraint as well. Uh, so when I run it first time, it's not going to throw any exception because uh, it's a brand uh, a new table. It's going to push out everything uh, from the source side. Okay, let's try to update the mapping here. So let's try to do the mapping. Okay, let's try to do a fresh mapping instead because I've dropped it. Okay. Source EMP. Okay, the mapping is ready. Let's try to run it for first time because the first time it's going to allow you because the target table is empty. Uh, let's see that. So as I told you, so like uh, first time the table is a brand new uh, table, like it's allowed as uh, all section records, but I added uh, the unique uh, uh, primary key constraint here, like which like, it worked like as a unique uh, constraint as well. So now oh, with that note, like try, let us try to rerun it, it should fail it.
see it's fail but it's with the warning so it is not completely failed unlike uh, the earlier one the fatal error uh, with a stop uh, sign you can clearly see that but this time it is given the warning okay so this is the difference so now if you go back to the session log and you can see that you will clearly see each record uh, has been failed uh, due to unique constraint violation error see so this is what it is trying to do it's trying to write it in the target uh, uh, table side but due to unique constraint it has been failed unique constraint violated because that record already present in the target side so that is the reason it's not it's preventing you to rewrite it again okay but it's coming as a warning but in this situation for an example you want to f uh, make it as a fatal error like stop it because as i told you before stop uh, 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 stop session uh, will allow you n number of uh, except uh, means like a uh, non-fatal errors right like this uh, so in case if you want to allow that so for an example we can create a task and understand bit uh, better uh, better way okay so we'll go and define okay so now let us try to do that okay so now if you see if you go back to the uh, property side okay and if you go to the error handling all the way see here stop on errors so on the stop on errors by default as i told uh, um, integration service will treat a zero right in case so if you want to stop on even if you find one single error you want to stop the process you can set it and try to run it now okay so now the stop error is set to one even one error it found like an exception so it will stop it see this is the fact so now so uh, it found one or oh, even if it one exception found also it will automatically fail but if you want to allow uh, some uh, two errors exception or three errors exception it's like a n minus one you can define it like two errors means you have to mention three or three errors means you have to define it four uh, on the stop on errors property in the session level so that it will be taken care it will allow first to two errors as a warning and uh, when it found uh, the third or third one automatically it will fail it okay that is that is what uh, in okay it is easy to maintain in the production uh, production maintenance point of view it will be useful okay so this is about uh, stop on errors okay uh, <clears throat> now let's move on to the uh, now let's move on to the other uh, about an error side uh, error handling okay i will create a new mapping here again okay so let's try to truncate the target table Okay, so let me define a new mapping here again. Okay, so the target we already have it. Uh, we'll define the target table here. T underscore EMP temp. okay so uh, for this this about an error uh, we can handle through ex expression row by row record we can pass an expression and validate it okay so in this case as i explained in the beginning of my uh, uh, discussion so uh, i'm going to use the salary column okay so here i'm going to define if salary less than 1500 so salary lesser less than 1500 otherwise okay so here we can introduce error okay error function we can use it so what will happen is 
record by record when it reads so whatever the records the salary is lesser than those records will be rejected or it will be written in the bad record set okay so let's try to save this one do the field mapping okay so now when you try to run it the targetable is already empty let's try to run it so now you see, if you see here okay uh, all the uh, 16 records have been written uh, okay uh, the mapping side i made a mistake you have to map it this column instead okay the expression and the output put you have to do it so now let's try to rerun it uh, before to that let's try to truncate the table So run it. See the job. So you should see ten records loaded and six records have been rejected, uh, meeting that uh, error criteria. Okay. So as you see, uh, the warning is there. Uh, uh, see uh, now this uh, based on this condition, uh, uh, the 16 records have been uh, read from the source, but 20 records only, the qualified records and other 6 records have been rejected because of it is falling into this criteria, okay. So it is safely rejected. So uh, we can double check the target side, the 10 records have been loaded. See here, so the salaries are greater than or equal to 1500. Now the same we will try to double check with the using abort function abort function completely abort the process kill the process session session property or mapping property it will kill it immediately it will not wait for uh, it will not wait for uh, it will wait for 60 seconds but it will uh, it will not uh, it will roll back or commit <coughs> immediately okay so let's try to do the same thing with the abort thing so simply change the expression into abort instead of save this run the mapping so this is this is about uh, see uh, uh, the session is completely failed because even one row it found also automatically it will fail entire uh, the mapping uh, records and it will roll, roll back uh, the records okay if you go back and check the session log you will get a clarity so what is that one uh, one particular row oh, uh, in the first attempt itself it will fail the record if you see here see uh, the very uh, very first row uh, um, the thousand three hundred see so automatically it will fail it so that is a, that is that is how we can understand so this is the difference between stop about and error uh, have uh, in part of error handling in informatica uh, i hope uh, you have gotten a better idea in error handling uh, from this video if you have any question or clarification, please reach me. Thanks for watching my video. Please subscribe my channel.